Yo, welcome to another stream. Make it Songbringer. I'm Wizard Foo, and today I'm working on a skin for Vel. Um, this is um, just a simple little thing so that she has a complimentary item to Jib's Jib stash item. Jib has this Jib stash where he gets a mustache, and um, it's kind of sad if you don't have Jib and you have Vel instead. Um, that if you get the jib stash, it doesn't do anything for Vel. So I'm gonna make it so it actually gives her a little accessory too. And um, trying out, I've tried out a whole bunch of things already actually. And um, these earrings seem to fit really well. So I'm gonna play around with uh, the art here a little bit, and then start making this a an actual skin for her, and apply it in the game, depending on if you have that item. And the item will change. Um, it's appearance even in your inventory and description based on whether you have Vel or Jib. So, um, and then also the other items that used to only apply to Jib were the Jib lights and those also apply now to Vel. Um, but the one advantage that Jib has is that Jib starts with a light so he always has a little bit of light but Vel requires at least one of these light upgrade items to even have a light. So she, yeah, she starts out with nothing. So it gives Jib a slight advantage there, um, but yet it's still fair. So if you find the item, Vel gets the upgrade too. Um, let's save this as. Earrings without the ings. Um, so I was in the middle of playing around with these. I tried some different looks. I tried it with the necklace too. It's actually kind of cool. My penis. <laughs> it looks so weird like that. <clears throat> okay, before I try a different look again, I want to try making these brighter. See what happens. If that's like uh, full brightness and like less saturation, so like it's little. I want this to glow with the shader. It's taking so long. So they don't quite glow, but I do like them. At that level of brightness, that actually adds a little more pop to them. It also makes them slightly distinct versus her eye color, but yet it still keeps it in that same tone, which is good. Um, I've already tried a pink tone to match sort of her, her outfit. And I tried a um, totally complimentary tone, a super bright cyan color. Jeez, is it pronounced cyan or... S I don't even know how to pronounce this bluish color here. So let's get it so that it pops, or it turns into the uh, bright glow via the shader.
Oh, there we go. Now it's popping. But now it's not distinct. It's popping, but it's like blurring. So it, uh, it's not really the effect I wanted to go for there. Okay, it's good to know. So back it up just a little bit. That tone right there is just right. Let's see how it looks with... I'm gonna add just one little dot right there. I don't know, Let's see if we can give her some bracelets too, how that looks. Well, yeah, so um, as far as the status goes for the update for Songbringer, this is going, all the new content is finished. Well, I mean, I guess I'm adding this little tiny thing here, but all the um, the important stuff, the bosses, the ring, all that's dialed in. I did a playthrough with that and dialed in the bosses to make sure all their special attacks weren't so difficult that they were impossible, but yet they weren't too easy either. The ring of difficulty, or the cursed ring is just, actually adds a lot of it's really nice adding a couple more pops of color. She's all accessoried out. I like it. Yes. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm glad I tried that. Um it might be worth trying one more couple dots up there and might be too much, but let's see. Before I go editing every single one of these. It's nice to, you know, give it some room to breathe. I actually, I love doing it this way. When, I, when it comes to creative things like this, I like to, um, First of all, get some inspiration, you know, like maybe even 48 hours before I go and actually do any artwork. I like to get some inspiration. So, um, you know, maybe search around the internet or think of some movies or something like that. Think of something that just kind of inspires me or whatever. And then, oh, see, that's too much. Totally. That's like, what? Yeah, just a little bit too much. But this right here was just right, I think. Let's see one more time. And then 24 hours before I go and do it, I like to start experimenting with it, or maybe even more like 12 hours before, maybe like the night before. I like to go and experiment, try out a bunch of things. Like this was last night that I went and um, tried some earrings, I tried a necklace, I tried uh, different colors for it, and um, and then just like, you know, didn't end up making a decision on it, which is perfect. You know, you allow, allow your subconscious mind to, uh, you know, reflect on it. Uh, allow that time and space to breathe. give art that time to breathe, it really helps. Huh, there's like one pixel there. It's a little off. Maybe that's a nice quirk. Anyways, 
I think it's really more of a psychological benefit. You know, it makes me feel like, okay, at least I explored that a little bit and I'm comfortable with this. I'm happy with this choice of accessory, you know, skin. thought, well, the jib stash item is called the jib stash. Why doesn't, why isn't this item just called the jewelry cash? So there's the jib stash and the jewelry cash. Sweet. So instead of calling it earrings, I'm going to call it jewel. I just love changing my mind, don't I? I think, um, game shows eating, <clears throat> eating way too much CPU today, huh? Yeah, damn, that's why everything's going slow. Well, at least I'm just doing, um, simple stuff today, just simple art. It's not like I'm trying to play the game constantly. Okay, let's get this skin set up. So she's gonna need to have every one of these duplicated. And we need to use this skin better. So that's in, I think it's called set skin actually. Set skin for rock, jib, bell. Yeah, this is exactly what we need here. That's where he sets his skin stash. go. Um, now we just need the north animation. I 
And um, I'm going to go ahead and save all of these. So I don't forget. Okay, we got all those saved with the jewel extension. Oh, I forgot a few up here. Never mind. Back up the record. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I've got Idle North. Let's do this one. Make sure we got this color. Okay, so she's got the bracelets. She's got like a necklace y thing and two earrings. There and there. Oh, this is going to need to be its own layer. This is where this one moves, but that one doesn't. Okay, and now we should be good to go. And it should be hooked up now where we can turn on and off this skin with the item.
yeah, it's just compiling so damn slow because of this one little glitch with my streaming software. It happens sometimes. Okay, so we do not have the stash. She does not have the skin on. It's exactly as expected. Let's turn the stash on. Forget. Is it stash? Oh yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, nice. So she's got the stash now. And let's turn it into um, changing the description and and the items um, icon there, depending on whether you have Vel or not. This is, I've done this before for the ghost hat. Is ghost hat. Okay, yeah, there's a manual replacement of the items image name. We'll do something similar for the jib stash. So let's get the HUD open. We'll draw an icon. Be similar to this. I imagine it would be similar to this. Um, lock it, sort of. Different color though. So there's our color, what hue, 37, let's see what it looks like if this just is like a 37 and just carve out the inside.
This is really slow. Oh. Take us out in the game. This is a little too much saturation. Let's give that a shot. Okay, so we're going to do something similar to this.
Okay, so what's the file name? Let's see, HUD, raw sheets, HUD, item, jib. No, it's just stash. That's just item stash. Here's where we parse the text key. So this is similar here. Okay, so now we need a text key for the stash, I mean the jewelry. <laughs> There's like three words in here that I need to look up whether I spelled right. I'm not being wordy. Miscalaneous. Accessories. Yeah, I spelled aesthetic right. It's right. Aesthetic. Okay, we got that hooked up. Chip stash replaced with jewelry. Yeah. We don't need the is ghost hat function. What's this though? Oh, that's the other is ghost hat thing. This is the other other is ghost hat thing. Input system. Oh, this is when it launches the ghost or it turns into a ghost hat. We don't need to worry about that. This is where it also launches the ghost sword. Okay, it should be it. It was relatively Simple, if it works. Ooh. Ugh. Yawning today, didn't sleep well last night. I accidentally drank a kombucha before bed and I forgot, as I always do, that kombuchas have caffeine in them. 
so much caffeine. Undeclared game scene, where we're Constance. Constance, really? Do you have game scene? I think you can go ahead and have game scene. I guess I could do game. I wouldn't have to change anything. That's just gonna be long though. Jeez, I can't do it. It's too long. I can't type that much. It's not worth it. Oops, I exported some weird stuff again. What the heck is that stuff? Ent doesn't know what ent is either. Okay, I'm starting to think we should just make a gear system function for this. A little bit easier, even though it's just super. Got the super slow compile because game shows eat not a CPU. Good, we got this. Cool, and um, start confirming stuff like if we had jib, this would be the jib stash.
cool you guys know it's Jibby with this jib slash and if we didn't have either of them we still have the stash it would still be the di the jib stash And if we had Vel, but she was not here, oh, this will automatically put her here, I think. Yeah. Or if she wasn't there because we were in here, the Swordless Dungeon. What would happen then? Cool. Okay, I gotta try something. I know if you stand at the perfect place and then hit the sword, oh my gosh. It's like. It's, I think it's pixel perfect. Oh, did it! That's it, right there. So weird. Gotta fix that. I tried, uh, so last night I was trying to catch that bug and I was like, okay, if I stand here, no, 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 no. I finally downloaded a copy of the playthrough from the other, from last week, where it happened. And lucky enough, there is a pixel perfect position where he walks backwards for some freaking reason. I didn't even check the. Did I? Oh, I did check it. Yeah. I still have the accessory because she's there, but she's not present. Yeah, cool. Whatever. All right. Let's um. Let's make that look a little better because these earrings look a little lopsided. Tough one to get right. Just really uh, 
tricky. Is that better? Sort of, not really. Ay, ay, ay. Side. Oh wait, is there a freaking HUD? It keeps exporting these frames I don't want. There's a couple of them. What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, it is all these. Oh, okay. Where did those come from? Ugh, I'm not happy at all with these earrings, but screw it. I'll save that for later. It'll be like the last thing I check in. Good, we got... Right, nice. Those um, extra slices didn't get exported that time. Okay, so we got Idle, Idle North. What's the next on the list? Talk, Talk North. These are both done already. Run, run, run.
forgetting something. One pixel helps it pop. Whoa, it is running so slow. Kind of like my brain right now. It runs south. Hey, what's up, Asgun? How you doing? I am streaming for maybe another 15 minutes, something like that. Just working on this new skin for Vel when, uh, if you have the jib stash, which is like a mustache item for jib, it's also going to apply to Vel now. So Vel has something too. So she doesn't feel left out. And players... You don't have to feel sad when you get that item, when you have Vel instead of Jib. How's everything going, man?
Yeah, doesn't it? It's like the difference between a single pixel. I know, what you, I know you know what I mean by that. Single pixel difference. Yeah, of course, man. It looks great. Yeah, I'm really excited for your game, man. Looks super fun. I'll do what I can to help spread the word. How is the development process going for you? Overall. Chug in. So let's see how that looks. You're working towards 50% content for a March milestone. You're working all day, all night, yeah? Need to pay the bills? Right on. I hear you. I hear you on that. It's man. I work myself to death making Songbringer. And uh, I won't do it again. I'll tell you that. I learned my lesson. I gotta, um, you know, I learned, I learned I couldn't sacrifice it, like relationships and fun and and um, all the little things that make you or me all the little things that made me more of myself you know what I mean I let go of those things and just focused entirely on Songbringer and I sacrificed myself and it wasn't cool ended up in a much worse state uh, socially physically relationship wise emotionally all those things sucked but that's because I did it for three years straight seven days a week 10 to 12 hours a day and um, yeah so anyways I learned my lesson won't do that again so now I have a, a much healthier habit I'm taking a good solid two days off a week which is really awesome just focus entirely on having fun those days doing new stuff focusing on new hobbies and friendships new friendships and um, being stronger person and all that kind of stuff I know right it's so but it's so easy to get stuck in that tunnel vision when you're passionate I know what you mean man yeah yep I'm still tempted I gotta admit I'm still tempted to work seven days a week but I don't know Maybe there's some people out there that can do that or that it works for them. And it worked for me for a while. You know, I guess it, it, it pushed forward my goal to finish Songbringer and finish it well. And that, um, that turned out good, that part. Okay, so we got these animations. Let's do these charge animations. Pixel day. I like pixel days. It's um, it's easy to. I don't know. 
know, sort of be mindless doing artwork as opposed to programming where you have to really be mindful. Sweet, this animation's easy. It's only a couple frames. Okay, this one needs to be a little darker because it's in the background. That pixel, that's much better. And another one bites the dust. Okay, let's check that out. We'll need to be in an area where she can attack. So let's go to 810. Oh. I gotta stop the stream soon, take a nap actually. <clears throat> it's one of those days. One of those days where I just need a nap. I can't do caffeine anymore. I used to be able to like drink caffeine and get tons of energy and stuff. Oh, she shines all bright out here. Oh, but only when she's in this in the super light. Okay, that's that's cool. Most of the time she doesn't shine. she does. Okay, that works. Okay, at least do these charged and shoot animations. Oh. 
Oops. So I just made her earring shift forward a little bit in that one frame, and this might look good if her shifts forward and back a little bit, kind of like jangles and
All right. Let's see how that looks. Good. I like this skin, it's very nice. Like see your dude. There's some north ones. Okay, that look good. Slow down time a little bit. Check it out again. Yeah. She looks hot. It's nice thing it, that all these little these little accessories give her a lot of pop her character it almost makes you think her normal character should have been like that but this is cool when it's not the normal item when it's an abnormal item it's cool because you are so much more rewarded as a player for finding it you're like whoa cool look at her she looks awesome now she looked pretty cool before anyway nice it's looking good. I'm really happy with this. So, um, I'm about maybe two thirds of the way finished with this skin and little modification. This is cool. It'll make it fair whether you have jib or bell. When you get the jib stash item, it affects either one of them. So, I do have to get a, a nap. It's nap 30 for Wizard Foo. So, I'm going to lay down, rest myself. Instead of drinking a cup of coffee, I take naps these days. I guess that's what happens when you, after you turn, when you're nearly 40. Jesus. Anyways, thanks for watching the stream, this video on YouTube or however else you're watching this. And um, yeah, catch you all next time. Have a good time. Enjoy what you do.